Hello everybody, Sigi the Gear, welcome back to even more Mother 3, last episode. We got and met Kumatora, as well as reached the top floor of Oso Castle. This episode, we're going to go right through this door, as we see the item we have been searching for. Yes, here we are. I mean, I keep giving him weird voices. I actually plan on giving a character later on that voice. This is where I hit it. Duster, this is a certain part of the item I have instructed you to bring back. It's an egg. It seems to be known as the egg of light or the hummingbird egg. Truth be told, not even I know anything about this egg. The hummingbird egg is a ball of secrets inside secrets that are inside even more secrets. Or something like that, supposedly. Apparently. And now that ball of secrets is needed. If this wound up in the wrong hands, the lid of the secrets would come undone, and bad things would happen. Just what sort of hope or calamity is hidden away in this egg? Not even I know. In any case, the summoning by egg is our secret. But it doesn't seem kind of ridiculous that the egg of a tiny little hummingbird holds all the world's secrets? I doubt even a hummingbird is able to lay an egg that size. Uh, any type of hummingbird, because they're actually quite tiny and that's quite a big egg. Excuse me. Indeed, it's quite ridiculous. But most ridiculous of all is that moron sitting right there. Duster, this egg gives us such a thick scent of secrets that's so contrary, it almost reminds me of condensed milk. Yet you couldn't catch a single whiff of it. That's how much of a moron you are! You're a failure as a thief! You shouldn't keep calling your own kid a moron like that, because if he really is a moron, he wouldn't understand anyways. <laughs> anyways, we can't let the bad guys get their hands on this egg. Speak of the devil. Not great. Wait, we just charged through. How come... How come it's taking them so much trouble to do this? Geezer, Duster, let's get out of here. Wait! Haven't you seen any Indiana Jones movie? As soon as you touch the treasure... But I placed treasure on the egg! Huh? Traps? Indiana Jones style. Princess! My bad. <laughs> Gotta love Kumatora. And now. Princess! Are you alright? Yeah, I'm fine, but. Huh? Whatever's the matter, if you're worried about that moron, don't be. He's betrayed for just this sort of thing. Oh uh, no, it's not Duster. The egg is gone. Come again? That moron isn't gone, but the egg is? Hi, Duster. Oh, the egg. Oh, and Duster. Yes, alright, well done. I've called you a moron 11 times so far, but I take it all back now. You're no longer a moron. Hooray. <laughs> uh... I wouldn't be so sure. I don't think this thing's happy. I don't know if I'd say hooray just yet. This is the oh so snake. It is level 24 with 1237 HP. It has no PP, which kind of means for any enemy with no PP that has infinite PP. It has. 82 offense, 28 defense, 16 IQ, and 23 speed. It is resistant to a lot of what Duster can do. Except for bombs! So use 
all the bombs you can do. And if you've done what I did and got Kumatora to level 12, use thunder. As much thunder as possible. Uh, do I have no more bombs? I'm out of bombs. Okay, let me see it. Oh, it may cry. So let me try that because it hits hard. Good, we got it to cry. Good. Duster stick at move. Alright, let me see. Last I checked, it does not... Oh yeah, you have a chance of, using, of being able to use the ball stings on it. So Duster actually does have some little bits. We must have, I want to lower his defense. Because I think Duster can move. Which apparently it's not going to be for a while. Nice, missed. That didn't hit anyone. Wes just has an infant supply of thunder bombs, I just... No, 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 no. Instead, Duster, I want you to use the tickle stick. And also, apparently, because Guntor's PB is getting low, so I'm just going to do normal uh... And now we're going to use another PK thunder. Now, there is something unique to the Oso Snake. Unlike most bosses, it has... Oh, Kumatora. Uh-oh. Bye, Kumatora. Uh... I don't think I'm going to win this one. Oh god, no! Oh god, no! I'm just gonna have to rely on that. Okay, Wes, we gotta do this together. It's making so many bubbles. Uh, I really wanna use this, please! Dive into the water again! It's crying and Kumatora is down. Her P Kumatora is down. <laughs> what? I didn't know it was that close to being beat, but Kumatora's not gonna get any experience. Okay, doesn't really matter, I guess. Level 20! Yeah! We're not gonna be able to use it because it's the end of the chapter. Now what? about the egg? The egg can't swim. What? And... Oh look, it's lighter in fuel. And there's Wes and Kumatora. And fuel is the only one that came to rescue them. Uh, Dad, I think I just found two dead people. Oh, let me see. Well, I can believe Wes is dead, but this kid? I don't think so. Oh, you're awake, geezer. Wowie. A house? You and this especially tough girl got washed out in the river. I think my dad was there, because I would pretend not to see him, it'd just been me. I see, thank you. You all... I don't know if you should be thanking you, that kind of sounds like he was just gonna leave you for dead. Did you find that moron with us too? You mean Duster? It was just you two. You know, for a couple, you sure do have a big age difference. <laughs> that moron, I mean Duster taking his damn merry time. He's a big trouble once I find them. Both unconscious, you should get a little more rest. Don't be dumb, let's go look for him right now. And now, we actually are in control of Kumatora. 
Fun fact, if you get a game over Kumatori, you'll actually get a funny game over screen. I am not smart enough to know how to put pictures in this, so yeah, you're just gonna have to believe me. You can look it up. It is the weirdest thing. So let's see, we were found right here at the river. I was about to say, wait, are we talking to Kubatori here? Ah! Uh, hi. Oh man, West, where's Dutch with the scum bucket? I'm gonna murder her. You see how I told about the money in the well and now it's gone. Jesus, so that was my money. What do you ask the Where'd you get it in the first place? And besides, what is money anyway? It sounds all too fishy if you ask me. Oh my god, it's Flint and Bony! Shut up, shut up, shut up! Look, what's the dust are both these? But they never did anything before, because we never had anything to steal in the village. But I was no, they steal good stuff, like money, if they ever saw it. Alright, shut your hole and listen, punk. Wow, Kumatora. Who are you? A friend of the thieves? No violence! No violence! Hi, Flint. Oh man, let's... Let's just... All of us calm down. Kick up a fuss would help us figure out anything. Especially with dust and gone. <laughs> I just... So for now, let's just wait for dust to come, to come back. Uh, we never said anything! Dust, are you moron? You better come back soon. group that has been tinkering with the forest creatures in an almost toy-like fashion has finally commenced its plan to alter the town, the lives, and even the hearts of people. It seems as if a grand scheme of some sort is in behind the actions of the suspicious pedal who has recently arrived. Not everyone is content to sit around by as the enemy takes on his attack from every angle. Flint, whose family is bonds, were torn in shreds. Western sons, dust, the thieves of justice. Princess Kovatori, the mysterious girl who suddenly appeared. Destiny is bringing together those who would use their power for good. And what has become of Lucas, the crybaby? I wonder about something. And I know this is a bit random, but I wonder if the idea of these Thieves of Justice, like who Wes and Duster were, gave the inspiration for Kay Faraday from the Ace Attorney series. Now we're going to end this off here, because this is the end of the chapter, and we're going to start the next one next episode. I hope you all enjoyed! This is the last bit of Chapter 2! See you all for Chapter 3.